In 2017, the Gambia saw the end of the 22-year Jame regime and the opportunity to create a new democratic society. The multi-agency team funded by the EU and implemented by DAI is now creating a roadmap for a people-centric security sector reform, establishing a security vetting agency and a whole of society counterterrorism strategy under the banner of Project Trust. Project Trust is an EU funded activity. And my role as security sector reform advisor is to provide policy advice, training and mentoring. Last year, I founded a team known as the Critical Mass, which is comprised of representatives from across the security agencies. Together, we're developing the country's first counterterrorism strategy, and we're also founding the first national security vetting agency. The main goal of the project is to build trust between the security agencies, as well as between the public and the security community. The Gambian people want to draw a line between our past and the future. We experience um, a lot of violations of human rights. Some of the perpetrators came from the security sector. So the reform is important for the people. Project Trust has been very helpful. The vetting pro project, vetting in the sense that it will help us to properly screen members of the security forces right from the point of recruitment. So the proper vetting of the persons that will be serving in our security services will go a long way in restoring that trust and confidence and also boost the integrity of the security services. We went through a very difficult transition, though it was not a post-conflict. So therefore we thought there are some authoritarian legacies that we need to wipe out from the security. We needed to build their capabilities and improve on the capacities. We are now well on the way to planting an independent vetting agency for the Gambia. A vetting act will be presented to the National Assembly. This law will give the necessary power so that the new vetting agency will be sure to deliver professional security vetting. Security vetting is a process of assessing an individual's security vulnerability and associated risks in order to advise whether the person is qualified to handle certain posts or positions that require them to have access to sensitive state security information or assets or equipment. The Gambia is developing its first counterterrorism strategy. All sectors and people from across society have a role to play. All this societal approach does not just encourage the protection of people from becoming terrorists, but also encourage the collective effort of protecting the public, critical national infrastructure, etc. Basically, the ultimate goal was to develop and build a well and equipped team of Gambians to continue the work that they have initially started. Whatever knowledge has been gathered here will be properly utilized for the benefit of the people of the Gambia. We are trying to ensure that our security institutions are law-abiding, they respect rule of law and human rights. I'm proud to leave behind a well-trained team of equipped and skilled individuals who will be responsible for leading this project forward and I wish them the very best of luck.